I'd like to dedicate this next number to a dear friend of ours who recently passed away, Charles Chuck Schneider. It's the uh, first movement of Bernstein's clarinet sonata, and uh, Ch Chuck himself was a real uh, had a real love affair with Bernstein and his music. For example, he conducted Chuck did the West Side Story on several national tours. He was a former conductor of the Schenectady Symphony for over 35 years. Ironically enough, his last concert with the symphony would be, as you might have guessed, conducting the music of Bernstein. Chuck was also the original conductor of the Glimmer Glass Opera, and both Corinne and I had the pleasure of performing as soloists with Chuck several times. Now about the clarinet sonata, Lenny really loved the clarinet. He wrote four studies for two clarinets, two bassoons, and piano for a League of Composers concert. I'm still trying to find a copy of that, by the way. Uh, I was lucky enough to perform his Bernstein's Prelude Fugue and Riffs for Clarinet and Jazz Band with the symphony several years ago. And Lenny would dedicate this to Benny Goodman. When Leonard was 21, he spent his last four dollars, legend has it, on a clarinet he purchased in a pawn shop. In the spring of 41, the sonata was written on one of his trips to Key West. It was first performed by David Glazer, who's a wonderful clarinetist with the New York Woodwind Quintet, in the year 42. The style may remind you of Hindemith, although there's definitely jazz, as both would be to tangle with. It features many time signatures, uh, some honky tonk, and yet it's got the classical form. So please enjoy this crossover piece. Thank you. 